One of the most famous stars we can see, Beetlejuice, is set to go supernova extremely soon. Astronomers think that we could actually be seeing the death throes of that star before it goes supernova. Here are four images of the supernova Betelgeuse, which is the second brightest object in the constellation of Orion. Betelgeuse is one of the most prominent stars in the night sky and is hard to overlook. However, according to the renowned scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson, it's crucial to take notice of this massive star because it has recently exploded. This signifies that something alarming is occurring. Picture the horizon during sunrise where half the sky is affected. Such a sight would be quite alarming. Stay tuned to learn more about what is happening to this star and how it might impact Earth. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. In general, stars typically exhibit remarkable stability, maintaining their radiance consistently from one year to the next. However, there are exceptions to this norm, and certain stars, known as variable stars, can undergo fluctuations in luminosity. One such prominent example is Mia, also recognized as the Star of Wonder. Discovered as a variable star in 1596 by the German clergyman David Fabricus, Mia is a pulsating star that undergoes constant expansion and contraction. Despite being a red giant, Mir presented a surprising revelation in 2007 when astronomers identified it as the first variable star ever discovered by humans. Situated 200 to 400 light years away from our Sun in the constellation Cetus, Mir, scientifically known as Omicron CTI, comprises a binary system with its white dwarf partner. A white dwarf is a star whose core has burned out, forming a stellar core remnant. The duo completes regular 500-year orbits around each other. Mia's allure lies in its pulsating variable nature, causing its brilliance to fluctuate over time. During its 322-day cycle, occurring approximately every 11 months, Mia becomes one of the brightest stars in its constellation before temporarily vanishing from view. When at its peak brightness, Mia surpasses the Sun by nearly 300 times, with its sphere expanding and compressing by about 20%. Beyond its variability, Mia captivates scientists due to its astonishing supersonic speed of 291,000 miles per hour. The mechanics behind this rapid acceleration remain a mystery, though gravitational pulls from nearby stars might play a role, according to NASA's findings. Additionally, Mia, due to its advanced age, is experiencing mass loss, shedding material from our galaxy at a remarkable rate. This ejected material holds the potential to contribute to the formation of new stars, planets, and even life itself. Over the last 30,000 years, NASA maintains that it has released a significant amount of material capable of forming 3,000 Earth-sized planets and nine planets comparable in size to Jupiter. This opens up an unparalleled opportunity for scientists to delve into the origins of stars and planets, courtesy of the mirror. Among the oldest and most massive star types in the universe, big red stars represent the final phase in a star's life cycle. A red giant, signaling a star in the process of dying, typically emerges after approximately 11 billion years of a star's existence. Mia, once resembling our Sun, is presently depleting its remaining fuel, and upon depletion, it will undergo a transformation into a planetary nebula. As a red giant reaches the end of its existence, it releases ionized gases, creating a radiant cloud, a planetary nebula. The charred core, now a white dwarf, persists after the dissipation of this nebula. In around five billion years, our Sun is predicted to transform into a red giant, eventually engulfing our planet.
Betelgeuse, the seventh brightest star in the sky and the brightest among variable stars, experiences fluctuations in brightness, similar to Mia, but on a smaller and less regular scale, due to pulsations. Occasionally, a star can suddenly become exceptionally bright, with the rarest instances being supernovae, powerful explosions indicating the end of a star's life. Baljuice, an immense red supergiant with a mass nearly 20 times that of the Sun, is prone to becoming a supernova. If Baljuice were to take the place of the Sun in our solar system, its expanded outer layers would encompass Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, extending up to Jupiter. Living fast and nearing the conclusion of its relatively brief life at 8 million years old, Baljuice contrasts with our Sun, which is still in its early stages of life at just under 5 billion years old. While supernovae are infrequent, occurring only a few times in the last thousand years, their brilliance can be so intense that they are visible during the day, an extraordinary event witnessed by only a fortunate few and a dream for astronomers. For a long time, scientists have been studying Betelgeuse because it's a bright star close to Earth, giving us a chance to see things we can't see on dimmer, farther stars. Experts think early humans knew about Betelgeuse, and it became a part of different cultures' myths and stories. Even though it's often connected to the Greek myth of Orion, the ancient Egyptians placed Betelgeuse in their Osiris constellation linked to their god of the underworld. Legend says Claudius Ptolemy, an ancient Greek astronomer, described Betelgeuse as hippos, meaning its color ranged from pale yellow to light reddish, suggesting it didn't have the reddish hue we see now. In 1836, Sir John Herschel noticed Betelgeuse's changing brightness, but oral tales from Aboriginal people suggest they saw it happening much earlier. Over time, Betelgeuse was categorized as a semi-regular variable star, changing in brightness irregularly every 400 days or five years. However, in 2019, something extraordinary happened. Despite being a variable star, Betelgeuse became 60% dimmer in just a few months in 2021. A massive gas cloud, larger than the star, covered half of Betelgeuse, making the southern part seem missing. This suggests that stars, like Betelgeuse, can have weather with hot spots on their surface. Eventually, Betelgeuse will die because it runs out of fuel for nuclear fusion, a fate all stars face. When this happens, the outer layers become unstable, causing a sudden increase in brightness as seen in Betelgeuse. The dust cloud initially dimming the star might be responsible for the unexpected brightness surge by reflecting the star's light back to Earth, but we're not sure. Betelgeuse and similar stars, being 15 to 20 times more massive than the Sun, are expected to go through a supernova explosion in their final stages. Betelgeuse's classification as a red supergiant indicates it's rapidly approaching the end of its stellar life, a process that might take another million years or could happen any time. Despite uncertainties about Betelgeuse, such as its mass and distance, one possible explanation for its rapid rotation is a recent fusion with a smaller partner, a common occurrence among large stars. Described in ancient texts as having a yellowish hue more like Saturn than Mars, any change in its color could signify swift evolution, possibly speeding up the supernova. If Betelgeuse undergoes a supernova, it would be visible from about 500 light years away. The first sign would be a shower of neutrinos, harmless particles. Then, the star would rapidly brighten, reaching a brightness similar to the full moon within a week or two. Over the next months, Betelgeuse would gradually fade away, remaining visible during the day for six to 12 months and at night for another year or two, after which it would no longer be visible. The long-lasting red brilliance of Orion would slowly fade. Regarding potential dangers, cosmic rays from supernova explosions could bypass Earth's magnetic field. While Earth would absorb radiation, the amounts would be minimal compared to other sources. A supernova event would produce radioactive iron found on Earth and the Moon, believed to originate from a supernova explosion two to three million years ago, located at least 300 light years away, posing minimal threat. However, if a supernova occurred within 30 light years of Earth, it could deplete ozone and expose humans to harmful UV radiation. 
over hundreds to thousands of years, this could halve ozone levels, potentially triggering an extinction event. The likelihood of a supernova occurring so close is extremely low, perhaps once every billion years. As per NASA's assessment, Betelgeuse is likely undergoing its various phases, leading to fluctuations in brightness at different times. In its elderly state, the star experiences hiccups, akin to a grumpy and coughing elder. Despite astronomer Andy Howell's assertion that the recent surge of gravitational waves may not be connected to Betelgeuse's behavior, suspicions arise about the star's impending fate. NASA notes that it is at a secure distance from Earth, yet close enough for observers to witness its potential demise without a telescope. Astronomers anticipate a spectacular display in the form of a supernova within the next 100,000 years. During Betelgeuse's explosion, the supernova will appear roughly as bright as a quarter moon to Earth sky observers, even during the day. With the naked eye, the supernova could be plainly visible in the night sky, about 16 times more luminous than the well-recorded supernova from 2006. The duration of Betelgeuse's explosion remains enigmatic. Depending on factors such as the star's scale and composition, a supernova's duration is influenced by the shock wave passing through the outer layers. Historical supernovae, like Supernova 1987A, lasted several months, and given Betelgeuse's larger size and higher mass, its supernova is expected to be visible for an extended period. Nevertheless, predicting the precise timing of a supernova remains challenging due to uncertainties in stellar evolution and the complexities of the explosion process. Despite these uncertainties, duration estimates offer valuable insights. Scientists are very curious about when Betelgeuse will explode in a supernova, and there are different opinions. The time it takes for such events depends on factors like the star's size, how much nuclear fuel it has, and how far shock waves travel. Although we don't know exactly when Betelgeuse's supernova will happen, some predictions suggest it could last for weeks to months. Studying the star helps us learn more about the life cycles of stars and the interesting things that occur in space. There's a lot of interest in Betelgeuse, especially with the possibility of a spectacular light show if it goes supernova. Famous astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson mentioned on Twitter that there's no need to panic, but if Betelgeuse explodes, it could be as bright as the moon for weeks. Tyson also raised the possibility that Betelgeuse may have already exploded, considering the time it takes for its light to reach us. He called it a dead star walking or a ghost. Because light takes a long time to travel through space, there might be many dead stars in the sky that we don't know about for thousands of years. Although we see only old photographs of stars, Betelgeuse's recent changes remind us that the universe is always evolving. Stars, planets, asteroids, and comets are constantly changing, and the recent behavior of Betelgeuse has caught a lot of attention. While it's often seen as Orion's shoulder, the pulsating star might also be seen as the heart of a giant in the night sky. Betelgeuse has evolved alongside humans, but dinosaurs never saw it because it appeared around the same time as the last shared ancestors of humans and chimps. These changes in Betelgeuse remind us that the universe is constantly evolving as we look up at the night sky, seeing stars of different brightness, planets orbiting, and distant stars exploding into stardust for future stars. At this point, it's not clear if Betelgeuse is starting to fade away or if it's just going through a big change in its brightness.